Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, your girl Lee Lee. Today I'm gonna to be doing a get ready with me to go nowhere. Uh, I see a lot of people doing these. I thought I was gonna do one maybe like two weeks ago, a week ago, something like that. But I really wasn't in the mood to just be putting on makeup, doing a get ready with me. Like I do these types of videos more so on my Instagram live um, because there's like interaction at the same time. So it's like kind of cool, you know. But I haven't done one of these videos on my YouTube channel in God knows how long. I hope y'all enjoy this and yeah, here we go. What's up you guys? Doing this get ready with me to go absolutely nowhere today and I hope y'all enjoy it. Update on that eyebrow tinting video. If y'all watched it, literally it was really bold on camera to me or in person to me too. Um, but y'all may not have seen what I was seeing because if you did you would be looking like oh my god why did you do that <laughs> I'm gonna be using some Bella J Botanicals uh, vitamin C moisturizer on my skin today I'm going to uh, conceal first I have been working out and running outside so my makeup may be a little too light for me these days but y'all know me I'm gonna make it work these eyebrows need some TLC like I have been so content with not wearing makeup why did I ever have to wear makeup if that makes sense like being at home, staying on the couch. Whew. I kind of missed it. I had got back into like working really a nine to five, a job in general that I was being consistent with. And I was like, oh my goodness. I missed the days that I didn't wake up with an alarm clock. <laughs> and, um, didn't have to be somewhere on somebody else's schedule. I tell you that much. I'm looking for my brown contour makeup, but I don't want this makeup to dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and do what I gotta do. So, I know everybody is kind of like on some really just winging content and putting out as much as they can because we all know that for the most part our audiences you guys the viewers are just as bored as we are but at the same time honey I haven't been feeling like the most creative and I know I always go through this I know y'all like sis we don't heard you talk like this for the past how many years I've been subscribed, but it is really true. Like sometimes it's just difficult to try to like muster up energy and overthink about what content you're gonna be uploading. Like some people can just upload, 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 and it does great for their channel. I cannot do that. I don't feel good about the content. Sometimes I feel like it's forced and when it's forced, it's just not fun. Like it ain't. I have been getting requests from my Instagram to do like a video on how I create my waist beads. So I think I'm gonna do that. I was telling people how like I find a peace in doing and creating waist beads. So I don't want that to be taken away by lights, camera, action. Because that's why I don't do a lot of things on my channel that I used to just because uh, it just feels forced and I don't feel relaxed while I'm doing whatever it is that creates that environment for me. All right, so I'm about to do these brows. Child, these things so on Wolfie. I'm about to turn on some music right quick and breeze through these brows. I am using the Benefit Brow Pencil the skinny precise my brow pencil and the number five
15 minutes later, I am finished with my brows. I'm not doing any eyeshadow. I'm gonna put like literally like a little bit of brown right underneath there just to give it some definition and depth, but that's it. And I'm using my contour powder to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out right quick. So I'm gonna be doing a bun, like the big donut bun, but I'm gonna be also filming like a bun tutorial while I film this video for my TikTok. If y'all ain't on TikTok, y'all might wanna add it. It's, it's fun. Even if you're just looking at videos, it's entertaining and it's a good break from like Instagram. I put a whole lot on baby girl don't even need it so uh, moving on because this is not a makeup tutorial this is supposed to be a get ready with me and I haven't done one of these in so freaking long it's like almost like I forgot how to do it like how I forgot how to do me TikTok be putting me on the hell of music too. I'm not even gonna front. Like, it's a lot of artists that I didn't know that that was their song, or even what the name of the song was, or even heard of the music at all. I'm like, oh boy, thank you for TikTok. Drop y'all TikTok names down below too. If you don't do TikToks, don't drop your name because I'm only following people that are like active. Oh my God, so let me tell y'all about my dream. Last night, I had the weirdest, scariest dream, one of my dreams. I woke up so many times to get up and go pee, child. I was like, this is not life. Like, I did not, like when I was asleep, it was like some good sleep, but I was so bothered by my dream. I was just like, oh nah. So I was having a dream like literally while I was sleeping, like having a dream within a dream. And I felt like because I had woke up so many times to go to the bathroom, like that's what I started dreaming about. That's weird, right? So long story short, I had a dream that somebody was in my apartment and the way my bedroom like the door, like the front door and the kitchen all connect in like one little center. So that, you know, say so it's like a little, not a hallway, but just like a walkway that when I go to my bathroom and my bedroom, like I can look down, you know what I'm saying? Into my kitchen, into that little area. So my dream, I had a dream that I heard like a sound or I seen like a shadow or something like right here. Not in my room, but like in that little walkway. Child, and I saw, I was going to the bathroom in my dream and I just so happened, like you know when you like kind of not sleepwalking, but walk into like a bathroom, you don't really pay attention. You just be like, all right, I gotta go pee. You kind of, it'd be dark in your apartment or your house and you just try to get it, like get back to the bed. So, Something in my dream told me to look up and y'all, why was it a whole person in my apartment? And I was like, oh my God. And I'm the type of person in like real life, if I get scared about something, I kind of just like freeze up. I don't like react until it kind of clicks in my head, like react. I don't know why I feel like something's in my mouth. So, honey, in my dream, guess what happened too? And I was like, oh my God, like I was screaming. Oh my gosh, help me, somebody's in here. And honey, why I even get the damn front door open? I see this black lady in my hallway. This is the dream. I see this black lady in the hallway. Child, she at lucky what none of her business that I was getting hurt. 
and like trying to fight for help in my life, I said, ain't this about a B-I-T-C-H? I said, people ain't shit when they don't want to be shit. I said, that's messed up. And that's, I even seen a social experiment like that online where it was like an alleyway in New York City and it was all pranked, like staged, and they were seeing like what people would help if a woman was getting her purse snatched from like, you know what I'm saying, like a, pe a purse snatcher. And do you know how many people did not do nothing, they just kept walking? And I was like, wow, like people are cold. If I see some mess like that, my initial reaction is to, is to want to help. But at the same time, I know there are situations where it could be like a setup or whatever the case may be. But if I feel like I'm in a position to be able to help and like, I, I want to help, bottom line. So, like, because I would want somebody to help me or to help my loved ones. So, that's how I think, off reps. Like, that's just is what it is. Um, so yeah, honey, my dream, it was just crazy. So it went on and so I finally got out of my apartment to like run to go get some help. And, um, well, I ran to my boo, to Zaddy. He popped up out of nowhere. Of course, it's a dream. It be happening like that. I found him. So we try to go like basically finding the person so he can, you know, hurt him. And so then... Honey, we don't ever find him every which way we turn and we go. I'm thinking that that's, that was the person. We go up to people and it wasn't even the person. I was just like thinking that I would see people that look like him. And I'm like, bro, this is so crazy. And then like the crazy person started sending me text messages of like pictures of me and my boo out. And was like, yeah, I see y'all, but y'all don't see me. I'm like, what the heck is going on? Like, this is not my life right now. What is this? So I'm like, what? This cannot be real. Uh, he still like, and then even in the dream, he go to like writing on my mail, being like, yeah, I had this piece of mail for 10, I remember in the dream, it was like 10 days or something like that. And he was like, I'll give you your mail when I want to give you your mail. And I'm like, what? Y'all, I just did not believe it. Honey, in a dream, I don't remember if we got them or not at the end. I just know I kept having to wake up to go pee. So my dream probably stopped like that. I was real life scared for my life. I'm about to finesse this liner on and then throw these eyelashes on real quick. I don't have much else to talk about, so I don't wanna like drag y'all along and make y'all suffer in slow motion. So I'm about to turn some music back on and throw this makeup on. Okay, you guys, I have finished my makeup. Um, I am going to put some mascara on the bottom of, well, I thought I was going, mm, I don't know. I know I definitely need to put some up top to connect my lashes with these, these falsies. So, I cannot believe that I forgot to mention to y'all that I have been doing a detox since yesterday. It's only a three day um, juice detox cleanse, but um, I'm actually like cell phone vlogging and doing all of that right now. I'm on day two, of course. That'll be like a quick little video that I'm gonna upload once I'm finished, probably by Friday. I'm gonna be using my Eco Style Gel. I also have the unicorn one. I love it, but I don't really feel like shimmery, transparent glitter today. It's called Eco Style. 
I don't know where people got eco style learned from. Hey guys, so this is my get ready with me conclusion. I hope y'all enjoyed it somewhat. I really didn't do much talking. I'm about to go to my living room. Um, probably gonna have to refilm this TikTok because I didn't give myself the right amount of time instead of doing 60 seconds, I accidentally did 15 seconds. And so I just saved it as a draft and I'm gonna have to probably do it like again tomorrow. So y'all see the bun is sitting roll up high. Um, it's kind of not wanting to stay in place. Yeah, y'all, this is about it. I'm about to film this Waste Bees tutorial and chill out for the rest of the day, per usual. We're all doing the same thing, pretty much, unless you have to go to work um, or have children. But still, still chilling hard. Um, make sure y'all are subscribed. Comment down below TikTok names if you are active. Make sure you follow me on the gram, my esthetician page as well, Glam by Leah Lee, and my everyday page, which is Leah Lee and Leah's Beauty Boutique. Uh, make sure y'all go shopping, get some waist bees. I have a sale at the moment. Waist bees are starting at $10 instead of $20. And um, yeah. Follow me on Snapchat too. Follow me everywhere. Everything is going to be linked down below in the description. Uh, so y'all be like, what she say that was again? Just search Lily. I'm the one and only. If you see another one, it ain't me. Okay? I love y'all. <laughs> I'll see you in my next video.